Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Monthly Tarot reading November 2019, and uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Sagittarius month here, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the next card which stands for the challenges that you guys need to overcome throughout the month, Hope hopefully that is going to be the High Priestess, followed by the third card here which represents the uh, the intentions, the positive intentions that you can have in the month or in other words that card could be taken as the best possible course of action. We do have the Three of Pentacles. The fourth card it is about the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month and uh, it looks like that we do have the Two of Wands also. This card could be taken as why this is all happening, the reason behind all that. And the last one, which is the uh, energies that are to support you throughout the month here, that is going to be the uh, chariot card for what it seems. So before we go there and pick up the cards one by one, uh, let's run them down one more time. So we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which stands for the general topic, followed by the next one, which is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the High Priestess. The third card, it is the Three of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, best intentions that you can have or also a best possible course of action. Fourth card, which stands for the lesson that you need to learn here, that you are to learn throughout the months of uh, November is going to be the Two of Wands. Or also the card could be taken as why this is all happening. And the last one, positive energies that are to help you throughout the month, we do have the Chariot card. All right, so it looks like that the month is going to revolve for you around this person here, which is the Queen of Pentacles, and it is catalyzed by the Two of Pentacles. So we do have a, a passive supporters, and that is a very, um, I would say, miraculous person, because no matter how bad one situation is, they always find a way to traverse it into, or to reverse it, excuse me, into a beneficial type of a situation. So that is someone who... Um, is capable to utilize everything to its its full potential, to its maximum. And uh, for what it seems throughout the month, they will either going to attend to your abilities and try to develop them to their very maximum or to your situation and will try to develop something into its very maximum with you. Now, important thing to know here, and that, that is a, a bit of a peculiar... Um, combination but this person is open for any kind of a version um, of the course of events as long as the events 
falls into the frame into the framework of the idea i don't know how to describe it really but let's say it that way the results are justifying the means and additionally to that it looks like that this uh, person queen of pentacles is also very agile in a sense of that it is willing to let go of certain aspects into the cooperation between you two meaning that you know uh, you may have had certain arrangements back in the days which now are pretty outdated and so for the favor of uh, for favor of the favorable unfoldments of the uh, relationship or the situation in between you two, that queen is willing to put these arrangements behind her back as long as you do, uh, you do the same. But in generally, this person in such two cards, it is quite adaptable. It's very uh, flexible and also adaptive. Yeah, adaptable. All right, and it looks like that as well. It's it's gonna listen to you um, of what you have to propose either career or either relationship wise and not necessarily is going to throw herself uh, straight away into it but the very least is going to extract the, the most positive things of your of your idea and will try to see how can make those things work to their full maximum and full potential so that is uh, really the topic here the topic is uh, at least for you the way i see it guys is uh, through the cooperation with this person uh, it is likely that you are to reshuffle it's not even priorities it's more like a circumstances so you can capitalize on the most possible benefits either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well now, the challenges we do have the High Priestess, and that card is going to be catalyzed by the Queen of Wands here. We do have a passive enemies in this particular position. So, challenging-wise, it looks like that we do have an, 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 a lack of patience on our hands. It's like uh, no different than a uh, person who thinks that uh, the who thinks that the things and the um and the performance it's a, a walk in the park it's a piece of cake you know and it's 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 like knowing everything and being capable of everything so that is the challenge that you need to overcome here and it's more like a holding down your horses or rather have a something at the back of your head that things can go sour and in Instead of charging forwards, um, recklessly do some measures to um, kind of face repercussions. Should repercussions uh, should repercussions appear, it's kind of like we do have the challenge of overconfidence. And while I'm not saying that you are not performing well or you cannot be uh, happy into your relationship, being a little being a little bit more conscious and making a little bit more thorough research upon the endeavors at, ha at hand is going to pay off a big big time because with these two cards it does look like guys that your perception it's a bit clouded it's a bit twisted in regards to either your current career your current relationship or it could be in regards to your current life and instead of uh, charging forward and trying to dapple your environs with uh, activities, now it's beneficial for you to hold on for a second and really listen to your personal wisdom, if you want to say it that way. Because your wisdom is telling you one thing and for one or another reason, you are doing something completely opposite. The other card, it is in regards to the intentions that uh, you should incorporate throughout the month and it kind of correlates very well with the first two positions. We do have the Tree of Pentacles and it is accompanied with the Tree of uh, Cups. Now we do have a passive friends into this position and it's all about a the common goal, the common opi no, opinion, vision. Okay, so here from these cards, I would say that your vision and not the vision about the goal, right? Not the vision about being happy with someone in a relationship or being successful with someone in a business endeavors. I t I'm talking about the vision of how you're going to get there. So your partner may be may or may having a different vision of how they are going to establish, let's say, successful marriage and marriage than your vision. So intentional wise here, you need to kind of aim for those fruitful discussions, conversations, where you speak about substantial and meaningful things, 
for example, how you are going to proceed with this project, you know, or how what happens next into your relationship or into your friendship or with your life in general, depending on how the Queen of Pentacles manifests for you. But it is important here to show emotional attachment to the matters at hand, to the matters that are involving... <clears throat> are involving you both and you should not withhold any kind of emotion or a feeling either pleasant or unpleasant toward the Queen of Pentacles because once again uh, that Queen of Pentacles that person really wants to unfold your maximum potential and if she I'm saying she because it's a queen but it could be as well a man uh, does not know what you what kind of a cauldron is boiling uh, within you cauldron of emotions um, it could be as well a cauldron of rage for some of you or it could be a cauldron of happiness in some of you if they don't know that they will not be able to take the right measures towards you and it is where we do have conflicts appear mismatching of a, a vision for the grand goal or for the grand achievement or for the cumulative direction if you want to say it that way and therefore a, a cooperation and support for each other is going to be rather impossible so the next card here, it will um, represent the lesson that you need to learn and that is going to be the Two of Wands and it is accompanied with the Knight of, uh, with the Prince of Wands or it's represented um, in the original deck by the Knight of uh, Wands. So quite sort of a, um, a dynamic lesson that is. Uh, it's pretty much a uh, long story short here for the lesson is that you are going to learn how to find your thing okay through experimenting of one thing and through experimenting over another thing eventually you're gonna find your direction which completely matches with the direction of the queen of pentacles remember what i said at the start of the reading uh, of the reading this is an agile person a very versatile very flexible as well um capable to extract the maximum out of any kind of a situation and that is the lesson that you are to learn you're going to become the same one and the same kind of a person hopefully through the cooperation with this queen of uh, queen of pentacles but um the biggest portion of that lesson or the biggest version of this lesson it is that no matter how good achievements one one is sitting on okay these um, qualities and capabilities that one have developed throughout uh, reaching that particular achievement, either being in a career, in a good career, or either being in a good relationship, you know, they need to keep on improving. And that can only happen when you um, focus on new goals. And these new goals, luckily for you, are kind of fully matching with this person, Queen of Pentacles. And the last card that we do have for you guys, this is in regards to the energies that are to support you here. This is going to be the Chariot card and here it's catalyzed by the Four of Cups. So we do have a passive supporters in this particular position. Energy wise, very strong. In general, it does point that you are going to be, you are going to have that strong determination and iron will to charge forth, you know, and just... Um, plummets into difficulties being determined to dissolve those difficulties and so on and so forth uh, but that is in a very um primitive level these energies on a very primitive level the more uh, evaluated energies here from these two cards are the sense of what is going to make you happy so these and the energies that are to support you throughout the month of november is always going to push you toward the direction in which you are going to find yourself not just only happy but as well emotionally fulfilled and for one or another reason it doesn't look like that the past you are going to miss the past either a, a past of an old relationship you know or either a past of a uh, um, um, unsuccessful job or unsuccessful project and etc etc the only thing that i don't like of uh, these two energies it is that they a little bit um 
kind of up amplifying the sense of a premature involvement into one thing. But as a positive energies, they are pointing that even though you may jump into premature, either into premature relationship, you know, or a premature project into your career, premature business and so on and so forth, uh, you're going to succeed either way, but it's just you're going to make it harder than it needs to be. That's, uh, that's the whole point. It's kind of like spreading out, say, uh, <clears throat> thriving thriving environment for vagueness drama uh, insecurity and uh, ambivalence as well so that being said uh sagittarius this was your monthly tarot reading for a november 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye